Hi, I'm Tracy Radley and welcome to my first live event, which is Release Your Baggage, a full Reiki energy healing and light language transmission, sec uh, transmission session. This is, this is my first event, so if you could um, just click the like button, if you can hear me, that would be great, just so I know that the audio is working because I'm doing this one alone. So, well, with team from above, but tech-wise, no support. So if you can hear me, that'd be great. If you are watching me via the replay, welcome also. Um, just to let you know, whether you're watching it live or via the replay, it makes no difference. The transmission that will come through very shortly, because I can feel it pushing, um, will uh, benefit you either way. So you can watch this uh, transmission over and over again, as you feel guided to do so via Facebook video uh, channel after after this full transmission and also you can watch it on YouTube I'll post it there as well um, this is a paid event for this healing however the way I was guided to share it was it's up to the viewer the receiver to decide the value for them the reason for this has been to um, I guess for me to be able to demonstrate to you that I can let go of, you know, financial gain of any expectation that I'm doing this for money or um, anything other than that. And it's also a lesson for the viewers to be able to choose for themselves, you know, the value they feel and to be able to um, learn to trust their inner guidance. So listen to your heart if you feel benefit from it and you feel that you want to contribute. Um, a payment for the healing session, then you can do that and um, follow that guidance to what the amount is. I have no expectation, I have no judgment. Um, this is purely an exercise for me to let go and trust. And also an exercise for you as the receiver to, like I said, grow in your own authenticity and trust in your guidance. So um, you can just go with your flow and I'll just do what I've been guided to do, which is provide this session. If you have, um, had Reiki energy healing before or know anything about healing, if you could just put a comment or also another like so I can tell where people are at. This is quite an interesting setup for me because I've not um, been able to gauge exactly who knows what and you know I'm just going with the flow that those aligned will actually find this video. But yeah, if you're a newbie, welcome and it's going to be a new experience for you obviously. I'll explain a little bit, but most of this process is actually going to be just allowing yourself to let go, let go of the mind, let go of the ego, let go of the overthinking, analyzing, and literally just, just going within, within yourself, within your heart, and um, allowing yourself to experience something unique and very personal to you. So um, the healing wise, like using Reiki energy healing, it will basically light an energy come through my hands. Um, but on top of that, I do the light language healing, which um, is kind of energy channeling and interpreting, but it does not come through in English. Um, it will come through in um, different words, songs, sounds, frequencies. Um, it will come through in different, uh, maybe symbols. I will do with my hands. Maybe I'll even draw some. I've got pen and paper just in case that's the case. And it, it's basically the opportunity for you to have an experience of letting go and getting clarity in where you are right now um, without having to be stuck with the obstacles that the ego create for you and the mind. So basically I'll, I'll channel and bring through these sounds, songs and frequencies and it will be nothing that the mind can comprehend. So at times it may sound like I'm talking in gibberish um, or I'm just making like mm, sounds with my voice but they're actually uh, healing frequencies and codes held within these that actually help you on body, mind, soul, spirit level. So you don't have to understand it. Literally, you just have to have an open heart and go with the flow. Um, so if you find during the session, when we get to that part that your mind wanders off, you can just simply bring it back um, and just go, okay, just listen with my heart. Don't try to understand a word that I'm saying because you literally won't. It's um, a pure line of communication to heart, soul, higher self. So that's where the information will come through. And you may not understand it like straight away logically, but it will come later. Um, 
people have had many different experiences with this. So some people get visions, some people will ex experience um, uh, different emotions as you know we all hold a lot of baggage especially in our physical body and the emotions and this allows you to release that so if something comes up for you you've got a feeling or emotion then you can like let that go um, whatever it is that comes up for you some people their body may twitch some people will fall asleep and it's perfectly normal um, I said I won't go too much into it but you can ask questions at the end. I'll have to cut off the video from my understanding of this process and I can respond there. If I get a lot of questions that are the same, I will post a video to answer them because that may be easier to clarify. Um, and I suppose I should share a little bit about myself for those that don't know me. Um, I'm Tracy Radley, holistic healer, life mentor. Um, I also do speaking work and I do self-funded volunteer work, which I started back in 2010, primarily with projects I have in Nepal, um, helping kids there. And like I also started my journey, I guess, basically since childhood, I've always been sensitive to energies, entities, things that are going on that other people just couldn't perceive. And like a lot of people out there, I've had to go through the experience of not really fitting in, not really showing who I am um, because I would experience life so different, but I couldn't explain it to people. I didn't have people to connect with at the time that could help me through it. And then you kind of get through, um, take on the patterns and stuff of everybody else around you anyway to try and fit that mold. And in 2010, I had a you know, a big push from heart and soul to kind of leave my job, my home, family, um, all the securities, big mortgages, and started um, an unknown path, actually following my dream that I had since I was like a child in primary school, which was helping others and setting up volunteer projects overseas. When I was in primary school, I thought I was doing it in Africa, but it's actually ended up being in Nepal and some also in India. And I also help people basically everywhere I travel. So I haven't had a home base for quite some time. So that's been you know, a lot for my inner child or my um, ego to let go of. Not sure when the next money is coming through or not really sure where I'm going next. So I can get like like a message come that through that says, okay, you've got to change town and I'm packed up and gone within an hour, but not actually sure why I'm going there. So like I'm actually a living example of following and learning to trust. It has not been an easy journey by any means. I've, um, you know, kicked and screamed. My ego has not coped very well with some of the situations that have taken place. I've watched myself drop in a hole. I'm not sure if I'm going to get out, but I've been very lucky to have the awareness of what was actually happening. You know, part of the process of letting go of the ego, letting go of control, letting go of the old systems that I was, you know, um, holding on to that actually held me back from being the, the true person that I am or the true being that I am. So now I live my life fully in trust. Um, I go with the flow as I get guidance. I do I do it without question, hence this video um, and this healing session. Previously, I was scared to be seen. Um, if you look back on some of my other videos through YouTube, you'll actually see me quite vulnerable, not wanting to be seen, being you know self-conscious about how I look and all this stuff. So when this, when I got the guidance to do this one in the early hours of the morning, I was like, actually, no, it was through my um, it was transmission Tuesday episode last week. It came through going, okay, next week you're going to be doing this live on Facebook um, for people because right now people are needing to release. And that was it. It came out of my mouth and now I'm actioning it. And surprisingly, I haven't really stressed. I haven't done anything. I've got my simple phone. Um, desk lamp and I'm sitting on a bed and this is how I'm bringing this to you but I feel completely aligned when I'm doing this so I've actually learned to let go of con like conditions of, of where I live how things are going to look will they turn out because I actually trust that it will be okay so um, like I said that's kind of part of my what I do is the healing healing side with the energies but I do like life mentoring as well and I've done it through my own experience because for often for the last seven years I haven't really had a a long-term home base and I just kind of pick up and go as I'm guided whether I like it or not I know I have to go so um, you're talking to someone or hearing from someone that does have some experience in this and this is the first time I'm really sharing it publicly most of the clients I have had have been while I've been traveling from country to country I don't promote 
I just get guided to people and places. Um, the last couple of years, people have asked me, where is your website, where is your website, where is your website? And I'm like, when I'm supposed to have it done, I'll have it. So, um, and it just never felt right. And then at the time I realized why. So last year I ended up in Nepal for three and a half months again, not planned. And obviously electricity where I was staying is not, um, you know, consistent. So if people were trying to contact me via a website, I couldn't do it. Then I ended up in the remote desert areas of the mountains in India and I was there for four months, but I never planned to go. So um, that was quite a journey and I'm happy I'll, I will be sharing that experience with you at some stage, whether it's online via the internet or, internet or in person when I'm back up speaking again because I can see more stability coming into my life so I can actually you know plan things a little bit more and it's not so much last minute which is a really nice feeling like I feel like I've really progressed back into my full empowerment um, and this video is part of that so I'm really really grateful for all of those that are watching it um, whether it's now or the replay because you're actually a big part of my transition and healing journey and stepping full into my power and getting past you know worrying about about what people would think so because I know it's coming from my heart that's all that matters um, but that, that has been a journey to actually get to this point. So there's a couple of things I will speak about just before we get into the healing session because afterwards I'm not sure how you will personally react to it. So I will, um, I'll bring some things up now, which is I have been guided just this week as well to uh, promote um, private mentoring and healing sessions um, intensive in Thailand in September. If you're interested, you can just send me a message and we can see if there's an alignment there. And also today, this afternoon, I got told walking back from the shop that I have to offer sessions in Cambodia in November. Now I have put the events on my Facebook page, um, the exact detail of the location I haven't added yet because I haven't been told yet. Literally, I just had to say there's an event coming. One's Thailand, one's in Cambodia and stay tuned for the details. If you've got interest, please like just just send me a message or uh, put you're interested so I can let you know of the updates and we can be in contact to see if there's a long, an alignment there for us to work together. So I will feel if you know we're right for each other, if we're a right match. Um, and if, if not, you know, there's others I can obviously refer you on to if you feel to. Um, also, if you resonate with the light language transmissions, I do have products. So I've got one range um, also on my Facebook page in the shop that is for um, short downloads so you can just download them as you need to they're between like two and two and four minutes I think and you can play them on loop and I've channeled them for specific um, blockages that people have in their life in their limiting beliefs so you can have a look there and you know you do it in your own time um, I also have my lift my spirit your wellness miss range this is also infused with the light language um, channeling so it's basically like a spray uh, healing in a bottle which you would use like this so there's nine specific in the range and there's also um, the one like this one which is just for me which I blend personally um, for you so I'll channel in and get what oils um, what channeling sound symbols go into it and this is obviously my own personal blend um, okay in saying that I feel like we should just get into the transmission and I've got some things on the screen saying invite, invite, but I don't know what that means, but I'll push it and see what happens. Uh, okay, nope, that didn't do anything. So <laughs> I don't understand it, so I'm just not going to push it. So if you, um, if you can get yourself into a comfortable space and place um, wherever you are, whether you're watching it live or if you're watching the replay, try to have um, no distractions, turn your phone off, get comfortable. Um, like I said, this is a, a, an event or a session that will deal with like the bigger aspect of you. So like you're more than just your physical body. You've got your feelings, emotions, and they all sit out in this area. So I will be working in every area. I'll tune into you specifically. Um, I can do it with everyone. Uh, doesn't matter if you're watching now or later. I can already feel you, even though I don't know you and I don't see you. Um, so this is what people refer to as distant healing or remote healing. You can literally tune into people and um, also got the ability to kind of 
program and have this set for whoever needs it will find it at any particular point in time and like you can watch it over and over again as you're guided to um, you may just need it once maybe six months down the track you go oh, I feel like I need I need another shift I feel like something else is sitting in my system I'll go back to that video so feel free to do that like I said you'll find it on YouTube and you will find it also in my video section on this Facebook page okay so hopefully everyone's comfortable glasses off if you've got them if you're driving please listen to this later um, because it can like I said, distort you a little bit um, if you've got emotions and stuff to clear and you know it's important that you you know take some self-care with this um, obviously not operating heavy machinery or the normal jargon like this please don't do this is a time for you this is a loving event for you um, to nurture and care so um, I suggest first up if this is new to you keep your eyes closed if you keep your eyes open to see what I'm actually doing you your mind will get active and this is what we want to get away from so basically you have to put yourself in a position literally just allow allow whatever happens to happen whatever your body reaction is let it happen whatever words come out of my mouth just except it's a sound so don't it's like if you were listening to the birds you don't understand what they're saying but you can relax into them it's exactly what's going to happen with my voice as it changes with um, tones singing sounds but what they will do they will resonate with the deepest part of who you are and they will help you release exactly what you're ready to release this is not something i am controlling i'm actually getting it from you i am just working as like a a tangible object between like you and your higher self so basically here's your heart all the information and I'm this tube in between so you're getting information from the biggest part of you that has all the answers because you know it I'm just helping you kind of move through some of the onion layers to be able to you know to make these realizations for yourself and release these things for yourself after the session if you want to put any feedback if your feelings and emotions please do that um, if you're not really sure what's happening, if something big comes up for you um, and you feel it for a couple of days, let me know and I'll tune in and I'll, I'll you know, give you some support with that. But just don't be afraid of what's happening. You're literally releasing the pent up feelings, emotions, memories that don't serve you anymore. So you're in full control of what you let go of. It's just coming from a subconscious level. So in saying that, we'll, we'll get started now. Um, so if you can get comfortable and close your eyes if you happen to already own one of my nests which i know quite a few of you do watching can you please spray it now if you happen to have it with you if not it's no problem um close your eyes take a deep breath filling up your abdomen full capacity so in and exhale Again, inhale and exhale. And one more time, inhale and exhale. I'm gonna start tuning in now. So those that believe in God's guides, angels, anything like this, you can call them in now to support you. Just ask them to be with you while you're releasing that which no longer serves you. You don't make it anything specific. Just whatever needs to go, let it go. Don't try to have any control issues around this at all because it's coming from a space that you cannot consciously see. You've got blockages in your system that consciousness only has, you know, part information of it's coming from deeper. Okay. So I'm calling in now. We've got a lot of support. Here we start. If you notice that I'm quiet at times, I'm still working. It will be finished when I actually tell you verbally in English it's over. Just allow the quiet time because I'm working just with my hands, not my voice. Esalata na kese seli shandara ya salaka kula isan san serigata no koro shulaka ka su sula sambare de terikusula sha shai shan laraka te na kese ulosata ta na kese ya mai salakutu to kusala shan te kita te o mai san san na kare te na karasha tuna 
ma sale chi tanna sulla santa de chiesa se se la santa na che santa tu cu sala case se sembare do cu do sono corosa sembare de te de chiesa la sha sha e sembare de che se la ca sandare de te de si illa lu sala carata de carasa sembare she she sha la sa su su ma tanna se se la ca sha sunduru do cu na ma sala sa sa su su la ca sa su ma she na ca can tu do cu su su ma la se isa sa sa la che sha sha ma ka sa la ka ka tu tu ku sa la sa se su lu ka sa sam ba la ta cha an tu 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 ku sa la se si sam sa na ka ra ta ni ke se se ma ya no shu tu tu ku do no ku ra sa la ka 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 ma se se la ka ra se se mi shi na ka ka ba da de kiri di te na ka ra sa sa ma sha sha shu shu ba da de kiri se se ma sha sa su su la ka sa sa ma se e la ka sam ba de di ta tu la e san sa e a su la ya ne ti a hu e ka lu a hi a nu ka nu e hi a hu la
Sai la classe se se samba, sulla tana cara sala se se vita, tata ma ku sala sa, sa samba re de ter che sala sa samburata, ma su su la sa sembe re di ter sa samba sha, sha sha nu ku to to ku to ku la sa samba, tata to ku su su malata re che se tungi gatta, sha sha nu ku to to sala ka, ma su su la san sa re che da haskamasi, se su lu ku san sana. Sa su lu ku tu nu tu tu ru tu na ka se i sha, she i sham da ra kre se i la ka san ba, ma i san sa ra ke te e su la ka, ka i san sa na ke te na ku sa la sha, she i sham ba ra tu 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 na ku sa la sa, se lu ku tu na ku ru tu na ka ra sa ha, ma su la se hi, sa lu na ka ra se i ta, tu la san sa ra te ka sha, she i sham cha na ke te ki ta, Maluta na ka se ita, te te ma sa la sha na ka ha. Chan cha la ka se ilu ka san san pa re ita, tam ba re de te sa. Chan cha la ka la sa sa ma sha, she shun ba re de te na ka se la ke. Ke la sa san sa la ka la sa sa ba re she shun ke. Sen sa na ka la te na ku su san ba re du tu kuru su san ba, she shun ba re te ka sa la sa. So so sambare re kara sa sama sha sha na ke se le i ta tan ta ru ka san sa na kara sa sama sha sha shu hu tu tu ku sambare re kara sa la sa sambare re tu tu ku so sambare te ki sa ma so 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 ma sha she sha nda la kara sa la ma se ki ta tu so so ma ka tu tu ku so la ka she i ta te san sa na kara ta na sa sambare re ki ta lu o tu ma sa sambe ki i ta sha Sham cha la kara ta na kara sa sam ba re de ki se la ka. Sam ba re de se sa la sha. Sham cha na kara ta na i to to ko sa sam ba re de ta ta na ke se. Sam ba re de ke de ke sa sam ma sha. Sham cha ma ka tu 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 su sam ba re de de sa sam ma sha. Sham cha ma ka su su u la ka sa sam be. Pe hu la sa 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 u tu tu ko su sam ma ne ki ta. Tan ba re kara sa sam ba re de ke se sam ba sha. Ma su sa 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 ma ke shi ni ki ta ta. Ma su sambare te kere sa sam sa la kala she she ni i kana sa sambare re te kere se se ma ka sa sa ma sa Ma su 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 tu tu koro te na ma ka sa sa ma a sha na kala ta na ke se la ka Ma se si i ta na kala sa sambare shu tu tu koro sa se la e san sa sha Sha tu 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 ku sa la se i ta te ta su sambare tu sa la sa Sa lu san sa se i ta tu tu ku sa ma san sa su la ka se Se la e san sa she ni ki ta ma su su tu tu ku sa la ka Ma se i shan ta ru ku sa ma Ma i san sa re ki ta da kara sa sam ba ru tu ku ru su sam ba She shun nu kara sa sam ma sa i da kara ta na kere se e sha Shan shan shari kere te ni i su sum ba du tu su sum ba du tu su sa la se i shan da e san sa la kara te ni ki sa Sam sa la kara te na ka su sum ba du du ku ru sa la sha Sha shum ba du du ku ru su sum ba du du ku sa la se i su sum ba sha Shan shara kara te na ku sa sum ba sa sa ma ka sa le e sa sa Sam sa la kara te na ku sa a na sha Sham 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 shari ke sa la san sa na kere te na u sa la se si i tan ta na kere se a sha Sha sham be de de kuru su sam ba la sa sa na i ta ta da kuru su sam ba e si i ta Ta tu tu mu sa la a san da ru tu ku sam ba ru tu 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 kura se e sha Sha sham ba ru tu kuru su sam ba la se e la kara ta na kara se i ta Ma su 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 kura ta na kara sa a le shi Sha sham sham na kara sa sa a lu kuru su sam ba de de ki sa la sa Sa yu san ba du du tu tu kura san ma ka 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 ma sa la se i ta Tan ta da kara sa san ba du du tu kuru su san ba Sha 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 me ke e te kere si se la ka Ko la e san sa da kere te i sa na kara ta da kere se se e la kara ta da kara sa u sha Sha yu san sa da kere te da kere se se ma u la sa sa ni i ka Ma e san sa da kere te da kere se sa Su su la e ya
sindada do corpo no massa la che sha la sa so to to na kara sa la se e che pita ta to mo ka sa la se e shunna to to ka sa la se 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 na kere de ki de ka da sa sambala da kere se la kara sha ta mas kere de de kere se sa na kara ta na kere se sa na kara ta chandara da ta na kara sa sambala de kere se ala sha sho shan cha de kere de kere kara sa ala kara ta na kere se ala ka ma so 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 ko do to ko do sa sa ala sha ta Tai tanakara se ila shatta tukura tanakara se se nikita mai sam sare kirete ashundai さんさんかれてるこれそさんばたなかられてるこれそさんばたなかられてるこれそさんばたなかられてるこれそさんばたなかられてるこれそさんばたなかられてるこれそさんばたなかられてるこれそさんばたなかられてるこれそさんばたな
meses y queridos de gracia san valerete de cosa san bajo yo yo te de cosa la sea se sa san da san de sa de sa su la san sa che shun da san karatsi a na ya sa su su ta san se si yo la Sai Santai Salaka Sansa Sai La Sandare Salasha She Sai La Sansareta Tentai Tantarai Salashe Ita Salasa Su Sai Santai Shanjiriki Tanta Salasa Masala Se Se Ita Maya Le Maya Sita Tunka, Mascara Totukusa, Sambara Shetika, Canta de Carasa, Sambara de Teresa, Sambasha, and a Kesa, San San de Kesa, Sambara Sesi, Ita, the Carasa, Samasa, Susu Sambara de Keresa, Sambashanaka, Masa Salacasa, Ita, Nasa, Sambukurata, the Carasa, Salese, Se Sambara de Kurusa, Sambasha, and a Ke, Utu de Kurusa, Samba, Sala to the Kurusa, Sambashe, she eat at the Carasa, Anna Carasa, Alessi, Ita. Tutta non mi casa, non mi sono creata, non mi casa, 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 non mi casa
Ne se la casa san sembe e te to ku san sa se kanin ita. Tai tanta karasi ela sa asuna ke isa andare ke sa ala sa. Su su o to to kurasa asa masi e la kota ta karasa. San tai san tai san de to to sa la se. Ne si si ke de de kara to to kara to na ke te de kara te de kara te de kara te de kara sa sa ela ka. Tan tere kere tere kere tere kere sa 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 kere tere kere tere kere sa sa ana sa sen sa kere e oto to to no kora sa 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 e san ta kare se se maka tana maka se se me e sa sun ba sa se e li sa sa e san sa kere te na kara sa sa na sa su 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 ba de no kuro su se ma sa sa san sa kere te na kara sa 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 la se e te to kuro su se ma sa san sa kere te no kuro su se ba shu ni kita ta e tan te kare se e lo su su ma sha. Shasha ma se se le u tu tu kuru san sarake. Ke ka ma sa la kara sa san sarake re te. Se sa san baru tu 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 su na ra se e tu tu sha na ka sa e. E la sa yin san sarake re te re te re kara sa san ba. Tan da kare se se le kare te re kare sa san kara te re kara sa san na sha. Shu shun ha ta na tu na kuru sa san ba. Tan da kare se e la shun shun na kara. Sa yin san sarake te na kara sa san be. Me san sa yin san sarake re tan ta re re ke sa sa. Susundai sanjai sanin sanin shunake salasa sanin sanjareke sasana kashe ni ita tai tanase elusa asumaka anaka tanase elusa sante te sai sanjareke rasa alasa susanjai sanjareke salaka mai sanjai se isha shulai sanjai te duku sanasa salo sa sante ita sai sanjareke ita susanjai sa Malu, seyu, lehi alu, laiyo e yu laiyo, keu neyale. Shambhari te salaka masu sansariki Sheshalasa ututukura sasanasha Shai shanta sesi ila maskeri ita tanaka Tututu salasa ishanaka Kasu sunsa sai selikisa Sasu sunla sai sanakishu Chilai samse ita tanasula Salu sankai shante kita Mai su lai san se hi su, tu lai san se hi, tu lai san sai shan shi di ki ta, ka su sa, sa lu sa se ni ki san san da re ke sa san sa la ka su san ba re re ke re sa sa, sa su la san da re se hi. Laskari re re kara sa sa ba sha na ka sha na sha na kere te re kere sa sa ba re re te re sa la ka kala kala te na kere sa sa ba ka ma re kere te re kere sa sa kara sha sha na sha re kara te na kara sa sa ma ke i tu tu kuru sa sa ba sha sha na sha re kara te re kere sa sa ba kara te na kara sa sa ma la sha 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 i lo kuru tu re kara sa sa ba sha na sha re kara te na kara sa sa alo ka kam ba re re kere sa sa ma ka ma sa la ka sa sa i sha na kara te na kara sa sa na sha re kara te re kara sa sa ma sa. Sansara ke o tu tu kuru sa sansara kara ta na kara sa Sansara ke re tu tu kuru sa sa ma se ita Tan tu tu kuru sa sa ma sha Sansara kara ta na kara sa sa na sa Sansara kara ta na kara sa sa 
Sansara Karatana Karasa Samasha, Chambari de Kirisis de Alakaratana Karasa Samasha, Chancharakara Uta de Kuru Sala Karatana Kirisis de Maka, Chancharakara Eta de Kotuna Makasa Samaki, Eshna Kuru de Makarasala, Masanaki Eta de Kuru Sasamakara, Shanaki Uta de Kosa Makarata, Shanamaka Amitara Amakarasa. Well, for those that are still watching and they've made it through, congratulations. Um, I have no idea what the time is or how long this is going for, but um, while I speak, if you want to keep basking in the energies, you can. You don't need to watch what I'm saying. The energies will still keep working with you, um, at least for the next 24 hours, um, working gently through your system. Like I said, um, it works whether you're watching it live now or if you're watching it on the replay, exactly the same. Um, time and space doesn't, doesn't exist, so I can reach anyone from anywhere at any point in time and you can receive exactly the same way. Like I said, this is what you would call like a, a distant healing or remote energy healing where I can literally tune into anyone, anywhere um, and help people move through you know, when they're experiencing blockages or... Um, when the limiting beliefs and the thought patterns and behaviours, you know, um, are holding you back from being who you truly are. So again, for those that are just tuning in, I am Tracy Ladley, Holistic Healer, Life Mentor, and I've just finished doing a live um, Reiki Energy Healing and Light Language Transmission full session. Um, we're also under the influence of some um, strong astrological events which have taken place today as well being august um, 22nd um, with eclipses taking place so i was guided to do this one actually um, to help people in that releasing process because things have been a little bit more intense with these energies happening and people are becoming more aware now um, you know there's more to life than um, the way they've been programmed to live it's time that more people are waking up and wanting to step into their power, understand who they are, why they're here, what their purpose is, you know, um, and how to, how to actually make that happen, how to make that a reality, how to move past, you know, the way you've always been, how to move past the, you know, the thought patterns you've always had, the, the behaviour patterns you've had, and a lot of stuff you're not even aware that you're doing. Um, but we're getting um, pushed from within now for, for, you know, our highest good to start looking into these things, start releasing them and start embracing who we actually are and what we came here to be and what we came to achieve. You know, we are actually um, fully loved and supported and we have access to everything. We've just forgotten it. And while I think of it, since I just saw one heart go across the screen, if you happen to still be with me and watching or even at a later date, please give me a thumbs up or um, a heart or something so I know the recording is still going and you can hear me clearly. If you would like to also add, you know, if you've had a session with me, if you've had something from this experience, please place it in the comments below. If you have... Um, any feedback or comments please put it below share it with your friends like i said people can watch this again over and over it is going to be on youtube and it's also going to be in um what do you call that uh the video section on this and i'm not sure how i look to you but i can see my own reflection here obviously and i feel like i'm glowing um my insides are just like fluttering because you know i'm so grateful like i said to those already watching at the start and if you've just tuned in i'm so grateful that you know you're part of this process with me because it's part of my journey who i am and i've known it since i was a child and it's taken me a long time to really come out to let people see it and thank you for the comments that's really was it Thank you, Chris, for the comment. I'm grateful to be able to be of service to you. Um, and I know there's people watching me that have, you know, seen me personally and had sessions with me. And so I hope, you know, from my early days, you can see how much more confident I am from, you know, when I used to hide and go, I don't really know what I'm doing. I just know that I have to do it. Where now I've fully embraced it and I'm fully in my power and I'm, I'm loving every minute of it. It's, it's a huge transformation, especially for those from my hometown and home state in Australia that you know have have seen me go through the process and they've seen me you know fighting myself to let myself come out um, but now these days literally I just go with the flow I trust in everything and everything's always provided for and it's not just for me it's accessible to everybody 
So if it's something that you, you know, you know within yourself, there's more for you. Um, if you're needing support along that way, you know, there's a lot of wonderful people out there that have gone through, you know, what you have and moved through it. Um, so seek out that help to get you moving on path. Um, you know, I'm also available if you feel aligned with me. Um, and if not, I'm sure I could help you find somebody that, you know, that might be of assistance to you because the sooner we start to embrace who we are and love who we are, you know, the better it is for everyone. When people say, you know, we are connected, it's true. Like we are what I think, feel, and what I do will impact everyone around me, whether they know it or not. Most people are not aware of that. However, more and more people are waking up to this, which is absolutely wonderful. So it's time for us to really, you know, take, um, take charge of our life and embrace the essence of who we are and like let our light shine and you know we're all beautiful beings we've all got our own perfection and we're perfect in every moment it doesn't matter you know if you don't look perfect if you're not the right way you know you're not in the best job your relationships aren't great but you're still perfect it's just you know you can grow through each moment and each experience uh, hey adam nice to see you hey christine <laughs> nice to see you there too um yeah, so it's like, um, it's a really a, a good time now to really, you know, make the effort to love yourself, like find all the qualities that are wonderful about you. And sometimes it is hard to see, you know, those that have seen me through my processes, you know, there were stages I, I did struggle. Um, but like I said at the start of the video, you know, going through my change and transformation, you know, it's been really intense, you know, I haven't had homes, I haven't had a home, you know, I've had times where I've slept in my car, I haven't had income, however, I have had a house that I was not allowed to stay in, because energetically, I was like giving this like, energetic wall that I couldn't go through, I could not return to that area, um, because it was going to hold me back instead of put me forward, so, you know, logic and ego kicked up about, I have a house, why can't I sleep in it, but the higher self and the higher aspect of me realized, you know, it actually wasn't good for me to be there and it wasn't, you know, um, serving my higher purpose. So, you know, I had a lot of my own conflict as well taking place. And, but, you know, as a result of this, you know, I've got stronger. Um, like I said, I've left my home, I've left my country. Um, I've been doing volunteer work for years. Um, I've been following my heart and not being able to explain it to people. And that's been quite challenging because I've been going, you know, between Australia, Malaysia, Nepal, India, and, you know, other countries in between Thailand, Sri Lanka. Um, that's just in the last couple of years. And, you know, it's been like challenging because logically I can't explain it to people. I just have this knowing feeling and I've got strong enough in myself to trust it now. And, and you know, my family especially were like, but what about income and what about a home and what about a family and all the, you know, all the things that would be classed as normal. I'm like, well, you know, my family was Catholic, is a Catholic family um, or is brought up Catholic. However, the only way I could explain it is, you know, I'm following that guidance. I'm getting those voices. I'm getting those messages and I am literally just trusting my own path. Um, and there's been a lot of great masters and teachers in, you know, different ages that have been teaching this. And for me, like, I feel like I'm embracing this now. Like, this is my journey. Um, but along my journey is to help uplift and inspire others and help them to follow their path and their passion. I can't do it and teach it unless I've done it myself. So I am now at a stage where I can do my, my own little thumbs up and go, yeah, you know, I have put myself out there. I have tested my limits. I have gone past my limitations. And, you know, I've lived a life that I never dreamed possible, but I also see what's coming and it's completely different again. And it's actually really exciting. The last couple of years have been, you know, a bit more of a struggle because the last part of my ego was leaving. Um, and, you know, there was a lot more of kicking up and in a conflict with it. However, I had not back down. There was no choice. I had no address to go back to, no job to go back to. There was nowhere to call home. There was nowhere to run. All I could do was wait for the inspiration, wait for the internal message to say, now's the time to go forward and this is where you're going. Maybe it's tomorrow, maybe it's the same day, maybe it's in a week. Not question it and literally just do it and find out, you know, once I'm there, why I actually needed to be there. A lot of has been a lot of the collective healing work. Um, and places and again I haven't known it consciously I've literally just trusted my guidance and turned up and then go oh this is why I'm here okay so um, I need to help the people in this area I need to help the like energetically for those understand it like I have to help 
you know, restructure some things in the region. And, you know, this is hard for some people to understand because most of just going, oh, Tracy's on a holiday. It's like, no, this is not a holiday. This is my life. My life is, I've been living for the last 17 months, literally out of my um, hand luggage. Um, you know, I thought I was going away consciously for seven weeks. It's now been 17 months with hand luggage, just going, okay, well, literally I'm in the flow. What happens, happens. Again, like I said, sometimes there's been a little tantrum, um, but that's actually stopped now. I've moved past a lot of that stuff now and really accepted, you know, I am really safe all the time. Like there's nothing that's really going to get to me um, except myself. I am fully responsible for what I do and what I create. And um, I realize now, you know, it's a team effort. I am co-creating my life and the way I want to experience it. And, you know, I'm from where I've been, um, even though I've known what was happening through the transformation process, it was still crap to go through. I'm not going to say it was easy because it definitely wasn't. And I know there's a lot of you out there who have actually seen me, you know, through some of the really struggling times. However, um, you know, at breaking point. Um, but, you know, I've, I'm rising, I'm shining now. You know, I'm embracing all of this as part of my journey and I can't support you if I haven't been there myself. So, you know, I've, like I said, the finances, the family, the home, the stability, the career, the all the belief systems just exploded and suddenly it was like, okay, well, none of that is real. So what is real now? Like, and finding my own truth and what is real for me and what's true for me, it does not mean it's going to be the same for you, but there, you know, there are core understandings and the essence of all of us, which we're, we're all energetic beings. We're all linked, we're all connected and we all came here abundant um, and loving. And we just have to find our way to get back to that state um, and live in that place of trust. Like I said, which is what I do every day now. There's not um, a thank you, Adam. Yes, it is nice to know I'm finding my clarity. <laughs> yeah, she did see me on the other end of this. Um, you know, it's been a thing for me tonight, even just to do this, because there's been a lot of people in my life that don't know what I do. And occasionally when my eyes were opening through that session, I could see some of the names flick up on the screen going, oh, this is the first time they're actually going to see what I do. Um, and I'm perfectly at peace with that. A couple of years ago, I would have, you know, been hiding away a little bit more, but now it's like, this is who I am. This is what I am. This is what I came here to do. And I'm no longer hiding that from people. You know, before it would be a select few people I knew I could like open up to and say, this is what I do. You know, this is what I believe in. And now it's like, it's every day. This is my life. This is who I am. You can accept me as I am, or you can choose not to. And either way is fine with me, but I'm not going to change myself for somebody else um i know happiness my happiness comes from within and if i'm having an off moment and i do have them it's my job to bring myself back into alignment it's nobody else's responsibility except me if things aren't going well in my life you know that's my responsibility again and i just have to like find my way through it um and like i said like i have a lot of tools that i've i've used now because i've had so many years of, you know, trying and experimenting for myself. And, you know, it's, sorry, I'm just reading. Thanks, Christine. <laughs> it's nice to hear from you. It's been a long time since I've seen you in Australia too. Um, but, you know, it, this is all about, you know, it is brave, it's being courageous. And, you know, we've all got our stumbling blocks. We've all got our little speed humps that we have to get through. Some feel like mountains. But until you get to the other side of it, you know, you don't know what's there. Like, I seriously took my biggest leap of faith in 2010 when I left everything. And I had no idea what I was doing, but I was glowing. It didn't stay that way for long once I realized, you know, the volunteer work I got myself into and the projects and, you know, the long haul I had to get me through. Um, and it was very lonely and isolating and being in another country where, you know, you don't speak the, like, speak the language, the culture is so different, education, access to resources, you know, really limited. Um, but in my heart, I was happy. Ego, not so much, but in my heart, yes. You know, this was part of who I am and part of my journey, and it will continue to be. Um, and, you know, I love to be able to be there and sit and talk to people. So my current mentoring clients, like the ones that are with packages with me now, you know, they know I don't shut up. Like, they get more than 110% out of me once I get going because I have so much to share, and I, like, I'm just so passionate about what I do, where I've been, and helping other people to, you know, to discover for themselves how great life actually can be. 
um, and you know how powerful a creator you are when you get the tools and when you get the support and encouragement and you know I find that you know when you meet people that hold no judgment against you it's so much easier to move forward when you've got people that are supporting and encouraging you know people that have been there they are the ones that you know really help you get through and you know there's been a couple of people in particular that have been there for me when they can be um, but the journey you know it's still your own you've still got to do the work but it's nice to have a support um, along the way and you know if that's something you feel you need help with on whatever level that is you know like you can go to the logics of you know finances career relationships all those type of things you know um what your actual purpose is well you know i'm i'm available um for people if they want sessions with me um i do have like packages there available but i i tailor them for everybody so it's not a set um not a set routine for everybody because everyone's different they're all um include like uh, what do i say like it's all guided sessions. So basically we go with the flow. I get information come through when I speak, I come through with what comes relevant. We change session to session depending on what's needed at the time. So, you know, I'm really quite flexible with this because I don't believe in one program fits all. Um, and, you know, I find it's so interesting to be with people that are on, you know, at different stages in the path because it also helps me expand and helps me learn how to, you know, how to, how to teach and how to demonstrate in different ways when people are either just starting on their journey, some are already quite spiritually advanced and they've got gifts and they, they just want to know how to advance them further. You know, it's it's a range of people I get to meet. And then I have some that just have absolutely no idea what I do. They just draw to me, they're like, I don't know why I'm here. I just felt like I had to see you. And that's generally how it works. Um, as I travel, I do a lot with kids. I don't plan it, but I've spent a lot of time living in the monasteries um, in mostly Nepal and India, and, you know, I do a lot there. They don't always realise it because it's on the energetic level, but, you know, there's a lot of um, big sister work there, and I absolutely love it. Like, these people are amazing, and they've touched my heart, and and I'm really blessed that I've got the ability to somehow fund myself and move around and, you know, not be attached to money and not be, a, you know, not have this big ego thing, and I can find comfort whether I'm in a mud hut or, you know, if I'm in a nice bed, you know, it doesn't matter if I've got electricity and water, great. If I don't, it's also great. It's fine. Like, I'm very adaptable these days. Um, like I said, I'm just learning to flow and it's so much easier. Let go of the expectations, let go of the attachments. And once upon a time, I could say it and understand it as theory. But, you know, the last few years, it's just, it's just been purely living it. And um, now it's even stronger. And I can just see more people saying about... Cambodia <laughs> okay um which is nice to know that I'm going to Cambodia I will be going to Cambodia in November and like I mentioned at the start of the video those that are interested um this kind of came out of nowhere this afternoon that I'm actually going to be offering like private small group sessions there like um intensives so if you've got a group of friends that want to go on a trip, they can spend a few days with me and we'll do some intensive mentoring, um, so practical tools and going through your stuff, as well as I'll include the um, energy healing side of things. So light language, psychic surgery, Reiki, whatever comes out um, is what I use. It's all intuitive. Or if you've got, you know, a few days that you want to um, spend with me one on one, you can also do that too. So like I said, that's November in Cambodia. It's also in September in Thailand um, but I'm also accessible you know via online and stuff anytime so you just send me a message I don't promote so much like I said at the start um, for people it's usually word of mouth so you kind of have to contact me direct via Facebook message or my email which I'll pop in the links below later on so if you want details about anything or you can like follow up with me there that's no issue at all um, if anyone's got any questions, you can pop them there now and I'll try to answer them as best that I can. Um, and like I said, if you're watching the replay, you can also keep adding your questions um, and I will address them then. I will keep checking this post because I know this will be going to a lot more people to actually get the benefit of the healing from um, because I was guided to do it and also just guided them to say that. So let's see how that alignment goes. Uh, I've also... I've been asked to remind people, you know, um, it is 
a paid event, this one. Um, however, it's based on the value you get from it personally. Like if you feel some shifts through the healing session itself, if you feel inspired by anything I'm saying on my journey, you know, um, and you feel aligned to make a payment, you can. Um, again, there'll be a link below here and it's also in the events page, but it's purely your choice. Your, um, your ability to trust your intuition if you feel this has been of benefit to you on, sorry, on any level. Um, you can do that. I've let go of attachment. There's no judgment on my side. So you do what you want to do. I am just happy to be able to be sharing. Um, but yeah, this is a different model. When I got told it at 2 o'clock in the morning that this is what I would be doing. Um, I was like, oh, okay, whatever. Let's see how people respond. And I've just let it go since then. I've just followed... Um, like I said, what I've been told. So I'm guessing if there's no more questions, um, at this point on the live one, um, I'll start to close off. But feel free to put any questions um, below after this video. If you're watching the replay, I will get to them. Um, I will answer your questions. You can find links afterwards to the events also in Cambodia and Thailand. Um, you can have a look at those, but you'll have to contact me direct for more specific information if it's to tailor a package for you or a small group. Uh, you can also um, give me some feedback if you like. It would be really appreciated on how this has gone, considering it's my first live event and you know I don't normally put myself out there in such a public way. Um, so it'd be great to have some feedback on your experiences or how you've found me in general. Have I been able to help you um, on any level? It would be really great if you feel there's other people that could benefit from this video. If you want to share it, um, like it so that, you know, there's a few more people that can get access to it. Thanks to Facebook that, you know, you've got to go click, 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 click. I'm learning all these things because I haven't been a tech person for many years. Um, but yeah, that would be really greatly appreciated and I'll um, catch you possibly next month. I may be doing another one. So I, uh, if there's any topics that you'd really like me to address, if there's any burning questions that you have um, about things in life, um, just pop them in the comments below or send me a private message and maybe it's something I can put a video together about. Um, I've got a lot of material already sitting here. It's just, you know, waiting to getting the light bulb and getting the message to say now put it out there for people they're ready um, but I have a lot of stuff already sitting here just waiting for the go ahead so I'm I'm happy for feedback happy for your guidance in which way you would like me to help you um, yeah so other than that I hope you've got something from this recording and like I said you're you're just perfect as you are you're here to learn you're here to grow you're here to enjoy and if you're not then please contact me and let me help you to become you know um all that you came here to be hi michelle it's been a long time since i've seen you too so um yeah there's people now from different countries and my little nepalese sister who i also saw pop up on the screen this is um all the time that i was in nepal and india and this is my Tantra Mantra time, as she would call it. She didn't know what I did, and now she's just seen it live. So when I disappear to the monasteries or to be off on my own, this is what I was doing. Um, yeah. So anyway, thank you for joining me, whether you're watching it live or if you're watching it through the replay. I really appreciate, you know, being able to share my journey and my gifts with you. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you again and take care. Bye.